We are always manifesting, creating our experiences by way of how we choose to feel, how we choose to think. It's, a, it's like a chicken and egg thing. It's uh, not always clear which comes first. However, there's definite a reciprocal loop between what we expect, how we feel about what we're expecting, and then what we get. I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for a bedtime vlog, by the way. <clears throat> I'm here with Miss Safi Cat getting ready for a good night's sleep. A little hoarse after singing my little heart out at band practice. And uh <clears throat> was just reflecting on how we're always manifesting and, and to whatever degree we're aware of it is has a lot to do now you don't have to be aware of it to be manifesting awesomeness it just matters how you feel and just because you're aware of it doesn't mean you will manifest off awesomeness if you choose to focus on the crappiness basically um it's really about that choice between love and fear between joy and misery and it's kind of fascinating to me how I don't see that direct correlation. I know people who don't believe in the law of attraction and yet demonstrate it beautifully um, in a successful way in their success. And I know people who demonstrate it beautifully in their in their lack of success or their limited mindset. Um, <clears throat> still horse. I'm a little horse. You're a big horse. <laughs> and I know people who uh, believe in the law of attraction like me and still have trouble sometimes manifesting what we want because um, we still have not mastered. I've still not mastered that feeling part of it. So I was, I've have the patterns and habits of negative feelings of victimhood and anger and resentment and judgmentalness which having practiced those a lot of my life come up naturally for me if I'm not super diligent and as I practice being diligent and shifting those into more positive feelings it that gets easier and easier just like those automatic negative feelings got easier and easier I do think that we have a tendency toward those left untrained that we will go to the negative thinking and feeling because of the way we're wired to warn us of danger and anomal I look for differences anomalies that's a tough word for me anyway I'd love to know if you have any thoughts on that as always I hope you give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time I wish you love lightheartedness laughter my cat ripping up my bed Sweet dreams and playfulness.